I'm on hole nine here, and according to the sprinkler hat here, I've got 83 yards to the middle of the green. Uh, so I know that by doing some research and by knowing my game, I know exactly how far I carry all of my clubs. Uh, if you're ever interested in doing that, you can set up a time and you can come down to the learning center. We can put you on the flight scope, which is our uh, launch monitor, and we can tell you exactly how far you hit each club in your bag, which is great information to know. Uh, for those who are interested in maybe stepping up their wedge distance control, uh, I've got kind of a system that you could learn where basically all you do is you take your wedges and you develop distances for half swings, three quarter length swings, and full swings with each of your wedges. So if you've got four wedges, that gives you 12 different distances that you can hit. So 83 yards according to this sprinkler head to the middle of the green, that number's always to the center of the green. A uh, little bit uphill and a little bit of wind in there so I can probably add a few yards. And I know by looking at this chart, which a lot of you probably have seen on the carts, uh, I don't know whether you use them or not, but it's really good information. So today, it's hole location number three. So if I go to the ninth hole, hole location number three is in the back left portion of the green. So there's some numbers on there. It says D equals 35, W equals 30. So that tells me the depth and width of this green. So if I've got 83 yards to the middle of this green, and the depth of this particular green is 35 yards. So if I split that in half, that tells me it's 17 and a half yards from the middle of the green to the back of the green. So I can kind of use that to get some information here. So the last thing that I want to do on this particular shot is hit it over this green. Not a very good spot to play from if you hit it long on number nine. So if I take 83 yards and I take that 17 and a half number, that gives me pretty much 100 yards to fly this green. So I need to hit something that I know is not going to fly more than 100 yards. And for me, I hit my three-quarter swing gap wedge about 95 yards. So that should be just about perfect on this shot. Let's give it a shot. I like it. So the training head I'm going to talk about today is the putting mirror from Eyeline Golf. And they've got a bunch of different versions. I've got just their classic putting alignment mirror here. And what it does is it gives you a good idea and tells you exactly how you're setting up. So when I get set up over this ball, I can tell whether my eyes are over the ball, whether my shoulders are square to where I'm going, and it gives me immediate feedback. There's also some drills you can do with tees to allow the putter to go in certain directions and let you know uh, whether the path of your putter is good or the face. Uh, currently, there's about nine of the top 12 players in the world using an eyeline golf putting mirror, uh, including Rory McIlroy, Ricky Fowler, Bubba Watson. Uh, if the top players in the world need to use one of these mirrors before they go out to play to make sure that their lines are good, then it's probably something that we should be doing as well. It's, it's so simple. Anybody could use it. You could use it inside, outside, can stick some tees in it. They've got a great website if you want to if you want to check it out. I also have some of these mirrors. If you're interested in purchasing one, uh, just let me know, uh, and I can show you some different ways to use it.